All right, guys, today I'm going to do a little video on this little power distro that I built. I showed this in my most recent vlog from River City Slam. You can check that out in the links below. I had a couple questions on what how this thing worked and what it is. So I'm going to do a little video on it. Before we start, I just want to throw out the disclaimer that I am not an electrician. If you're trying to build one of these yourself, and you don't know 100% what you're doing, don't do it, just buy one or have somebody that knows what they're doing build it for you. So my goal for this was to basically get my own distro set up for lighting and audio all in one little box. I don't need a lot of power for my rig, so a couple of 20 amp circuits was gonna do. And I also wanted everything to be power con and locking connectors. So this is what I came up with. Put it in a nice Gator case. This is a 3U roto molded case from Gator. Does the job perfectly fine. So I have a 14L30 inlet. So that's 240 and two hot legs of 240 single phase. And then in the middle here, I wanted to be able to monitor my voltage and my amperage on each one of the legs. So these are both tied to the two legs of the 240. So each, each leg of 120, each one of these are tied into. And then these split out to two 20 amp circuits. So this is like leg one, this is leg two, and there's two 20 amp circuits on each leg. And then I have two power con outlets for each one of these four circuits. So that's it. That's really all there is to this thing. I'm just splitting out the legs and distributing it, distributing it to these power con outlets. Again, I wanted locking connectors. So we didn't have any Edison to pull out. Nobody could kick out the cables or anything like that. It's all locking connectors. Most of my rig is all power con like this. I do have Edison breakouts, of course, for stage power. So I have some adapters that I made to go from power con to Edison to make that work. But this is primarily for my PA and my lighting rig. So I will put, like I'll split out the subs and the tops on two different circuits and then like lighting on another circuit and stage power on another circuit. And again, my rig isn't that big, so you know, 20 amps on each one of these circuits is more than enough. So this panel I just purchased on Amazon and then I had my buddy cut it out for me on a CNC machine. I used to have CNC machines, I don't anymore. So I had one of my friends cut the panel out for me, designed it in Autodesk and made all the connectors and stuff fit. These, these guys are actually DIN rail mountable breakers and devices. So on the back side of these two screws, there's some standoffs and some DIN rail. So let's go ahead and take this thing apart and I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. And on the back side of this case is actually just another panel. It's just a flat blank panel that covers the back so you can't touch any of the wiring on the inside and everything's protected from anybody. Even if you take, I never take the back cover off, but if somebody does, you still can't get your hand in there and touch any of the any of the wiring on the inside. All right, so let's check this thing out. I'm also very curious, if you are actually an electrician or you know more than I do, um, feel free to tell me what I've done wrong <laughs> and what I'm doing wrong in this thing. I would love to know, uh, but this is this was my best attempt at building something like this, and I feel like it turned out pretty well. So there we go, make it sit nice. All right. So here it is. This is that 14L30 inlet. I have my two hot legs and my neutral, and then I just have a neutral bus and a ground bus. And again, this is all DIN rail. You see, this is DIN rail. 
And then there's DIN rail on the back side as well. So I used two pieces and I just bolted them together. And that gave me a nice platform to do all of my wiring and terminating here on this side. And then the other side are those devices and some standoffs poking through the front. So there's all my PowerCon connectors. I tried to keep everything nice and clean. And yeah, so this is, again, my hot legs come in to the center to, to the two uh, voltage meters. And there's neutrals to pair with those. And then those split out the top. There's two, it's kind of hard to see, but actually no, they're out the bottom. I'm sorry, there's, uh, there's two legs coming out of each one to go to each one of these circuits. And everything, everything just breaks out into the different breakers. And then all of the neutrals and the grounds from the PowerCon connectors all come back here to the neutral and ground bus. So here's my neutral, big fat eight gauge, I think, neutral, just in case that I do have an imbalance in the legs. I think this is all like eight gauge wire. I could be wrong though. But that's it. Um, essentially you could do this with a basic project box and not include the breakers or the voltage meters or anything like that if you really wanted to. I wanted to have breakers because of the protection. So I'm not overloading any single one of these outlets or wires more than 20 amps. Um, or my feeder cable that is feeding my speakers or my lighting. I wanted to make sure I didn't hit 20 amps on any one of those runs because that is what the breakers are for, to protect from overcurrent and melting wires, starting fires, things like that. And then I wanted to monitor my voltage and my amperage on the front panel. And I found the best way to do that was to add Ow, something's stabbing my finger. <laughs> it was to add these guys right here. So that is it. I mean, this thing isn't that big. I could have used a smaller case to fit this in, but I felt this was, this is one of their shallow rack mount units. So this just fits in there nice. Obviously it screws in and it's nice and clean there in that gator case. Overall, this cost me around three to $400, which in comparison to buying a unit from Lex or one of those other companies over a thousand dollars, this definitely saved me some money and gave me some customization as far as the metering on the front to give me more than some of those other units offered. If you have any questions about this or you have your own power distro, I'd love to hear about it. Thanks again for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.